Hi guys, can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, el internet está un poco medio inestable, así que si de repente se me traba el sonido o la cámara, me avisan porque eh, por si no se me entiende algo. But I think it's fine right now. Yo me veo bien y me escucho. Bueno, yo me veo bien y creo que me escuchan bien. Si tengo algún problema, me avisan. And nothing is good to see you again before. Um, well, it's good to see you again um, in a new week. And we are like about to finish um, this model. So I think we only... Um, we only have three classes more for with this, with this one. And I just, um, well, I just need to know, um, how are you at this point? Eh, ¿Cómo están con la parte de la plataforma? No sé si todos llevan la plataforma, um, al día, pero sí creo que sí se los dije en la última clase, que, um, si pueden ir adelantando la Sección número 5, que es la que toca esta semana, estaría cool porque si se quedan solamente con el examen final, the final exam, que también está en la plataforma. Eh, ¿Cómo les va con la plataforma y cómo les fue el fin de semana también? How was your weekend, guys? Hi. Hi, coach. Hi, it's good to see you again. How are uh, you? How are you? <laughs> uh, uh, fine, coach. Thank you. And the last week I was, uh, the last week uh, was uh, fantastic because the Saturday I, I went to, uh, I went to celebrate with my family to the San Blas, mm -hmm. specifically the, uh, the Sol Bohemio restaurant and, and the restaurant is is, view, is um, beautiful because the restaurant is in front of the beach and the and the um, and the uh, environment environment uh, was was cool uh, I I uh, the the day was uh, was in a uh, hot uh, and and I and I um, ate fish and I consider that the the last week weekend was uh, cool. Okay, it sounds great. It was for the Father's Day, a celebration for the Father's Day. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, with my family, uh, we. We, we celebrated the the fire days. Ah, okay, excellent. That that was on Saturday, right? Yes, yes, yeah. coach. It sounds great. Like to went to the beach. I remember there was a rainy day. It was raining when you were on the beach. Estaba como lloviendo cuando ustedes estaban en la playa. No, coach. Uh, no, coach. Uh, the when. When we were in the beach, the it is is it is uh, no it, it was uh, is, uh, soleado. I I don't know. Yeah, sunny, 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 sunny. Yes, yes. Oh my God, I, I remember there was raining right here because I I had the, like the the Father's Day dinner with my family. And I went to the to the cinema with um with a friend, and we watch um Flash. So it's very cool. Uh, it was a really good movie. It it it, it makes me cry. Um, and at the end I needed to go to the dinner, but it was raining. Oh my God! It's like um the sky is falling right now, and I started to feel it so bad. So finally, I I didn't. I didn't go to the to the um, uh, to the dinner. I came to my home and I rest. 
the rest of the night. Um, prácticamente el cielo se estaba cayendo y ya no me dieron ganas de salir y me sentía mal. And I thought I got sick um, for a little because I was a little bit sick on Sunday and yesterday. So I, I missed the celebration, the Father's Day celebration. Yo me perdí en la celebración del Día del Padre porque se cayó el cielo y yo me empecé a sentir mal. Entonces ya no fui a la celebración. But I'm so glad to hear that you have a really good uh, fa Father's Day party, Raúl, in, um, in, uh, at the beach, of course, at the beach, in a playa. It sounds pretty great. And what about the rest of you guys? Did you do something for the Father's Day? Did you do something for Father's Day, guys? The rest of you? No, teacher. Nothing. It was a normal day. Yes. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Like, I missed my celebration. Um. So I, I, I couldn't see my grandfather. And my dad isn't, isn't in the country. Um. But, like, I felt so bad that day. And I miss the celebration. So, um, my mom, my my mom brought me, um, chicken with mushrooms, chicken with mushrooms. No me acordaba cómo decirlo en inglés. Chicken with mushrooms, and oh my god, it was so delicious. Uh, but I felt so so bad, and um, maybe it's maybe it's because it was like a little, it was raining. When I came out, so um, I always felt so bad when I am like exposed to these situations, um, como a la lluvia o al viento cuando está muy fuerte. Yo sí me pongo bastante mal. So I I got sick. Um, better right now, but I got sick that day. Okay, and what about the rest of you? Y los demás que hicieron, todos tuvieron una celebración del Día del Padre o también como Luz, Ana y Luz. Luis, Ana y yo se lo, se lo perdieron, no hubo. Hi, teacher. Uh, in my case, it's uh, only normal day. Uh, only stay in my, in my house. Only rest every, every Sunday, for example. Mm -hmm. Because the last Saturday uh, uh, work all day and the Sunday only rest in my house. And this day uh, work all day and rest uh, from, from 5 p.m. at this moment. Oh my God, it sounds great. Like you really could rest. Do you feel better now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, like I, I understand because like I got sick, so I, I I'm very sleepy person. I, I really love to sleep. I really love my bed, and I wasn't doing too much this this weekend because I I I'm about to finish um the the um the university. <laughs> And um, I am on the final exams and I didn't want to study because I already studied before and I I just dreamed and dreamed and dreamed <laughs> this weekend. So um, I was like very sleepy all the day. Hoy sí que estuve dormida casi que todo el día. No es de esos días movidos que tengo demasiadas cosas que hacer. Hoy dormí casi que todo el día. Dos de la tarde le tenemos rica y deliciosas carnes. Sorry. Did someone call me? No. I was missing that. Okay. Vamos a estar cocinando. Ay, que se escuchaba algo raro, pero quizás es el micrófono de alguien. Okay, so... Um, we're going to start our class with a new topic and a new tense. And, eh, ah, el tense de la vez pasada creo que quedó bastante claro. Les dije de que porque estaba lloviendo bien fuerte que si tenían alguna, eh, alguna pregunta me la iban a poder hacer hoy. Y no sé si alguien se quedó con una, alguna pregunta de ese día. 
antes de comenzar esta clase. You can tell me. Avísenme si alguien se quedó con alguna pregunta ese día, ya que no les escuchaba porque empezó a llover fuerte cuando ya nos íbamos. Eh, si tenían alguna pregunta, me la pueden hacer. No, everything is great. Okay, so we are about to start the next topic of this model and tell me when you can see it. Okay, ¿ya la pueden ver? Yes, coach. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to see the simple future. We're going to see another um, tense this time. This is like a tense time. And um, I think we saw three different tenses in this model. It was the simple past, the present perfect. That was the, the, the last one. And the simple future, that is the one that we're going to begin today. So we were talking about these tenses, and I just need you to remember that one, um, if you learn about the structure of the sentences, you're going to use it pretty well. So this is the simple future, is another tense. And um, first of all, I would like to know What do you think about the simple future? What do you think that it is? And what do you know about it? Okay. Para comenzar, quiero escucharles a ustedes que me digan qué creen que es el simple future o para qué se usa o qué, qué percepción tienen ustedes del simple future. Maybe, maybe you saw these, these tense before. Maybe you don't. So we're going to um, have this explanation again, of course. So tell me. What do you think about the simple future? What is it? Why do we use it? You can raise your hand. Puedes levantar la mano y decirme qué es lo que piensan del tense. Mm -hmm. Volunteers? Did you ever heard about the simple future? No, no one. No one knows what is the simple future? Nazario, okay. Hi, Nazario, it's good to see you again. Hi, good to see you. Good evening, classmate. Good evening, teacher. We want to see you again after a long weekend. Yeah. I think that I feel so good, wonderful. With new batteries, just right now. Amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> And we are in the in the top of the platform because this is our last week, I think so. Yeah. So we had to complete the platform I don't just last week. Mm -hmm. I think that I am right. Well, Tisha, according to the simple future, I think that is when we have to use a uh, going to in the sentences, in the simple sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, when I'm trying to say, or when I speak about the future, when I say, I'm going to the beach this week. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that this is a simple example. Yeah, of course. Okay. I think that you have the, I have that you have a, a very formula for us. Yeah, of course, <laughs> I do. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you so much, Nazario. You have a really good idea. Okay, I would like to hear to Raúl. Coach, I, I, my opinion about this topic is that we can use uh, the simple future uh, with uh, two conditions, or I don't know, if, for example, uh, I know that the simple future, we can use the to form the Uh, we can use uh, going to and we can we can use a uh, will but the but the but we use if we use uh, the will uh, uh, when we talk about uh, the 
things in the future or the actions in the that uh, 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 that um, happens in the future, but is no probably a difference to the going to get, that the going to is is what hundred percent probably that the the action happens. That's I don't know. What happens, yeah. Of course. Yeah, you you're right. You're right, Raul. Yeah. Okay, Raul. Um give us a little um explanation about what is simple future and why do we use it and the ways that you can use it. Of course. Okay, yeah. This is like your classmates' ideas, no Sario and Raul, and they are they are right. Los dos están bien con las cosas que nos mencionaron. Of course, you have a really good idea. What is the simple future? Why do we use it? Okay, so we're going to talk about it. First of all, I'm going to see. Sí, vamos a pasar a la reading activity antes de pasar a la explicación completa de esto. Permítanme. Ya pueden bajar la manita, guys. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Curse. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. So we're going to have a little conversation about this class, about the topic that we are seeing right now. And we're going to have we're going to see the, the tense that we are talking about, the truth class we talked about. And we're going to see a little the structure that I'm going to bring to you to do your um your exercise your your class activity with the topic. But first of all, we're going to see this conversation. We're going to read it. So I need two volunteers to help me to read this conversation. I need someone to be Julia and something someone to be Nancy. Okay, Luisana, you're going to be Julia. Me falta alguien más. Raise your hand. Who wants to be? Okay. Tenemos a la siguiente persona. Es Patricia. Okay, Patricia, you're going to be Nancy. Go, girls. I'm so ex excited. Excited? Excited. Excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll catch up with my reading on my reading. What about you? Any plans? Well, my parents have written um condominium in Florida. I am going to take long walks along the beach every day um do lots of swimming sounds great say why don't you come with us with us we have plenty of room do you mean it i'd love to okay thank you so much you did it so great, okay? First of all, um, you, do you have any questions about the the um, the vocabulary? Mm, me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, the plenty, what is the pronunciation? Ah, uh, yeah, it's plenty. Yes, um, un montón de, como tener varias de esas. See, plenty is like um, muchas habitaciones, like plenty rooms, como muchas habitaciones, como que hay varias habitaciones, right? Bastantes de ellas. This is plenty, okay? Another one? No one? Everything is great. Okay, perfect. So this was a little conversation about a plans. Plans is like the main idea when you are talking about the simple future. And you can see that Julia and Nancy are talking about what they are going to do and in the 
eh, the weeks off, como los, los, las semanas libres que les van a dar, right? Supongo que estaban estudiando y van a tener como mini vacaciones, right? So, they're talking about their plans and um, Julie is going to go to Florida, right? And like swim and go to the beach and all of these things. So, this is like the main idea plans this is about the conversation and don't forget that esta esta cosita que ustedes ven acá abajo que es una i con una plequita y una d esta es la contracción de i would okay is i would love to como me gustaría i'd love to i'd okay i'd love to esta contracción solo para que sepan ustedes ya saben cómo utilizar would okay so we're going to come back to the presentation. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. Yes, it's sure. Okay. Perfect. Oh my God. I have been sleeping a lot these days and I am feel so, so exhausted. Um, like, um, I was sleeping, but I, I already feel a little bit bad, um, with my nose, and I don't know. I, I feel like a little bit exhausted. I think that you need a shower, tissue. Maybe. You maybe. want to be ready. Yeah, of course. You're like, going to feel better. Thank you so much. I I hope so. Like um when, when I got sick, I always felt so bad. Cuando yo me enfermo siempre me, me siento demasiado mal. No sé por qué yo me enfermo y me pongo muy muy mal. So um like creo que no tengo muy buenas defensas. But um I'm trying to do my best right now, right? So we're going to see we're going to continue the simple present. And we were talking about it, okay? I need a volunteer to help me to read the slide. Algún voluntario que me que me ayude a leer este slide? Raise your hand. No one, no one wants to read. Okay, Nazario, go Nazario. Simple future. Why do we use it? The simple future is a verb tense that's used to talk about things that haven't happened yet. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Nazario, look at this. This is like the reason why we use the simple future. It's a verb tense that used to talk about things that haven't happened yet. Okay, um, cosas que no han pasado todavía. ¿Qué es el futuro? Right? This is the main question. What is the future? ¿Qué es el futuro? ¿Qué nosotros esperamos del futuro? ¿Qué cosas pensamos cuando hablamos de futuro? Yo pienso, por ejemplo, en planes. Sí, cuando yo hablo de futuro, yo pienso en planes, cosas que yo quiero hacer. ¿Qué piensan ustedes cuando hablan de futuro? ¿Qué otras cosas creen ustedes que existen cuando hablan de futuro? Yeah, if I, uh, if I think about plans, what do you think about simple future? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Tell me. I think in my in my own goals, teacher, and I think in about future. Yeah, of course, personal, your own goals. Personal goals, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. For That's example, right. for example, I'm thinking maybe in four or six months. Uh, maybe I'm going to talk like uh, native people of English. Yeah, so. yeah, mm. of course, that's a goal. Yeah. They need a simple future, right? Because goal, it hasn't happened yet, but you are talking about it like a plan, yeah. right? And I think that we are in the way. Yeah, you are in uh, the way. But like, but, uh, but the goal is according to the thing that we have to do in the same way. What kind of thing I have to do if I want to achieve, achieve anything? Plans. I want to achieve <laughs> anything I have to do, different kind of plans. Yeah, of right. course. And plans are simple future. That's yeah. right. Of course. Right. Thank you so much, Nazario. Yeah. Look at this. My own goals. That's Nazario says. My own goals. Mis propias metas. Eso también es simple future. Cuando nosotros hablamos del futuro, yo digo que pensamos en planes. Nazario dice que él piensa en sus propias metas. Um, maybe you can 
think about possibilities too, right? It's not only plans, but possibilities too. Like I, I am not planning something um, really hard right now, but I am thinking about it. Like I would like to do that kind of something in the future. And it's not a plan yet, but um, I'm thinking about the possibility to do it um, later right do you remember when we were talking about the simple past and we said that uh, we can find like a near past and a far past cuando estamos hablando del simple el simple past hablamos de que encontramos un pasado cercano y un pasado lejano y um, el mismo tense utilizaba para hablar de ambas cosas so vamos a ocupar el simple future el simple future para hablar exactamente de lo mismo pero en el futuro like things that we want to happen, it can be plans or possibilities or goals or whatever that is going to happen, yeah? And this is like a, the tense, the simple future is a perfect tense that we use to talk about things haven't happened yet, but you are planning it, or maybe it's a possibility and it's a big dream, for example. Um, algo que todavía no esté en mis planes porque yo sé que todavía no lo puedo planear como por ejemplo irme de viaje porque no tengo dinero para irme de viaje no tengo ese plan todavía pero sí lo veo como una posibilidad en el futuro ok, una posibilidad que en algún momento puede ser que se convierta en un plan que también es futuro simple ok, this is simple future in general esto es simple future en general ok algo importante que nos mencionó, creo que fue Raúl o Rodrigo, no me acuerdo quién de los dos fue, pero nos mencionaron es que el simple future, y aquí le puse adverbs, pero no es adverbs, sorry. Um, this is the ways to use it, okay? This is the ways to use it. When we are talking about the simple future, it's a little bit different when we talk about the simple past. We always use um, the same structure in the simple past to talk about near past and a far past and to the possibilities we use like another tenses. When we are using um, the, simple, uh, the simple future, we are going to have two ways, two ways to use it, with going to and with will. Okay, que fue algo que Raúl nos mencionó al principio. So I would like to know if you know the difference between going to and will. Quisiera saber si ustedes saben la diferencia entre going to y will. ¿Qué es lo que les diferencia estos maneras de utilizarse? Los dos son simple future, porque los dos son simple future. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? Um, teacher, I think that going to is when I when I make the activities in, in a short time and will is when I make the activities in a long time. Okay, very close, pretty close. Okay, yeah. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think that we have to use will teacher with a probability thing that will happen in the past. For example, I will speak like an avid, like an avid, uh, person in one month it's a probability okay. but it's not real and going to is when i think that the thing is real yeah okay yeah um you you are right the both of you los dos están bien um i just i just like to 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 tell you that um a mí personalmente personalmente no me gusta relacionar tanto going to y will con el tiempo en específico me refiero a si es un tiempo cercano o lejano sino más bien con la intención así que como como con los modal verbs se acuerdan que les hablaba de los modal verbs y les decía de que cada uno se usa con intenciones que ¿Okay? no es que no es que tengan eh, es decir, sí tienen como sus, sus estructuras y sus razones del por qué, pero al final es la persona hablante, es la persona que está comunicando quien decide lo que quiere expresar. So, algo parecido pasa con going to y con will. Así como nos dijo Nazario, going to is like when you are talking about a short things. Something that you know that is going to happen in the future, that it's completely sure that this thing is going to happen in the future. It can be, for example, when you have plans, when you have uh, plans, but not just plans, that you are planning a very good 
um, schedule or goals and you have all the agenda in your mind and you are completely sure that that, that, that thing is going to happen because you are planning it, okay? Um, going to es para hablar sobre las cosas que nosotros estamos seguros que sí van a pasar, ¿ok? Que cabe el 99.9% de probabilidad de que pasen. Siempre hay un margen de error, right? For example. Going to se utiliza para planes seguros. Cosas que yo sé que sí van a pasar. Por ejemplo, if I am going to go to... Quiero ver... Uy, me pasé. If I am going to go to the mall, to the cinema with Corina, for example. We are friends and Corina and me. Uh, we're going to we're going to go to the cinema this Saturday. Okay. Look at this. When I say I am going to go to the cinema with Corina, I am talking about a plan, right? I am talking about a plan. Esto estoy hablando de un plan. But I'm talking about like Corina y yo ya elegimos el día, ya elegimos la, la función, ya dijimos que nos vamos a ver en multiplaza a las a cinco de la tarde y vamos a ir a la función de las seis, ¿ok? Ya, ya lo especificamos, ya Corina y yo ya tenemos todo un plan, ya pedimos permiso, ya sabemos cómo vamos a llegar. This is going to. And I say to Nazario, hey Nazario, this Saturday I'm going to go to the cinema with Corina. Este... Este sábado voy a ir, voy a ir, ok, that's the, 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 the tense, voy a ir, I'm going to go to the cinema with Corina, voy a ir al cine con Corina, ok, les digo que cabe un margen de posibilidad de que no pase porque puede ser que ese día llueva bien feo y al final no pase la acción, por ejemplo, pero no es cuestión en realidad de si era una posibilidad o no era una posibilidad, sino que hubo algo que lo detuvo, que es algo muy aparte. When we are talking with Will, we are talking about possibilities in the future. Something that I am planning, I am, not, I am not completely sure that that thing is going to happen in the future, that will happen in the future, but I, I really wish to happen. For example, I have no plans yet because um, I'm starting right now, but um, I would like to, to, I would like to have a master eh, en, en gender, right? A mí me gustaría tener una maestría en estudios de género, for, exa for example. Entonces puedo decir, I will, I will have a master in gender studies. Voy a tener una maestría en estudios de género. Esto es un plan, porque, por ejemplo, yo no tengo, ni siquiera me he graduado de la universidad como licenciada. Por supuesto que no puedo hacer una maestría todavía si no me he graduado de licenciada. But es algo que tengo como previsto para el futuro, es una posibilidad en el futuro. Cuando yo ya me, haga, me haya graduado y tenga el dinero y diga y vea eh, que ya están dando las, las, eh, los periodos de inscripción para las maestrías, yo voy a poder decir, I am going to, porque ya va a ser un plan seguro. Pero en este momento, como es una posibilidad, lo digo con will. I will have a master in gender studies. For example, that's the difference between going to and will. Esa es la diferencia que tiene going to con will. Es la intención y es la posibilidad en el tiempo. Going to es algo certero, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, que usted mañana va a ir al supermercado porque ya se le acabaron las verduras, ¿sí? Va a ir a, al mercado porque ya se le acabaron las verduras y usted sabe que mañana sí o sí lo tiene que hacer. So you can say, uh, May, tomorrow I'm going to go to the supermarket because I have, I have no longer vegetables. Yo no tengo vegetales, right? Esto es algo que usted va a hacer mañana. Y no tiene que ver tanto con el tiempo. Por ejemplo, usted podría tener que... Um, el siguiente año, usted va a ir en diciembre, el siguiente año a Estados Unidos. Y puede que no sea alguna probabilidad, sino que ya sea algo seguro, aunque falte bastante tiempo. Por eso les digo que no me gusta asociarlo tanto con el tiempo, sino más bien con el grado de certeza de la acción. ¿Ok? Porque puede ser que, sea, que algo sea muy certero y le falte bastante tiempo. O algo sea una probabilidad y pueda pasar mañana. Por ejemplo, que el, el mismo contexto de Corina y yo en el cine. Um, I can say, I will go to... Uh, if Nazario, Nazario asks to me, Hey, Abby, what are you going to do this weekend? And I can say, um, I think I will go to the cinema with Corina. 
yo creo que voy a ir con, con Ina al cine. We don't have plans yet. We haven't seen the cartelera. Um, we don't know about the schedules. We, we haven't planned anything yet. No hemos planeado nada. Solo dijimos con Corina que iba a pasar el sábado. Okay? Look at this. Puede ser will en un periodo de tiempo corto porque estoy hablando de una probabilidad. Sí, como que no hay un plan certero todavía. Entonces, a mí me gusta relacionarlo más con la certeza de la acción que con el tiempo en el que se especifica. Esto no quiere decir que no vayan a encontrar otros libros de inglés o profesores que les vayan a decir que sí tiene que ver con el tiempo. Uh, yo se los digo desde mi experiencia y desde mi conocimiento que a mí personalmente me gusta asociarlos con el grado de certeza de la acción y no con el tiempo en el que se vayan a realizar. A mí, yo como teacher. Sí, por eso les digo que no, no, no les quiero decir de que no vayan a encontrar un teacher o otro, un libro, por ejemplo, que les diga que sí se asocia con el tiempo, porque yo lo he escuchado. Pero a mí personalmente, desde mi experiencia hablando inglés, yo siento que tiene más que ver con la, eh, con la intención o la probabilidad del grado de certeza de la acción que con el tiempo en el que vaya a suceder. Si es mañana o pasado, en un año o en cinco años, tiene más que ver con el grado de certeza. Sí, ok. Como cuando yo estaba pequeña y, y decía que iba a ir a la universidad y me faltaba muchísimos años, pero era algo certero porque así me iban a mandar a la universidad. Por ejemplo, algo que faltaba muchísimo tiempo y era algo certero. Pero la profesión sí podía ser algo probable porque no sabía qué específicamente iba a hacer. ¿Ok? So, a mí me gusta asociarlo más con el grado de certeza de la acción. It's your choice, really. Esa es como mi explicación, la verdad. So, do you have any questions about this right now? No ones, teacher. No one. Okay. So, I would like to um, talk to you about the structure of course. I need a volunteer to help me to review positive. Raise your hand. Guys, you there? Luisana. Okay, Luisana, help me to read the structure in positive. Well, read it completely. Leame las completas todas. <laughs> okay. Uh, simple, simple future positive uh, subject plus to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Negative subject Mm, plus to be plus not plus going to plus verb plus complement questions to be plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement thank you so much Lisana. okay look at this this is the structure about the sentences that you're going to use. Como les digo, es prácticamente y exactamente la misma estructura en todos los tense. When you are talking in positive, you're going to use the subject, that is the people that you are talking about, usted, yo, ellos, la persona de quien hable. To be, el verbo correspondiente al sujeto, ya lo conocen, ustedes saben cuál es el verbo to be de cada uno de los sujetos. Going to, going to is the auxiliary of the simple future. Going to es el auxiliar de este tiempo. ¿Ok? Y will es el otro auxiliar, pero vamos a ver will después. Ahorita centrémonos en simple future, ¿ok? Vamos a ver las cosas certeras primero. So, going to as an auxiliar. Y yo no quiero que se confunda porque go obviamente es un verbo. Y going es el progresivo de go. Pero en este caso el going to no se va a alterar. Se va a decir en todas las oraciones y con todos los sujetos exactamente igual porque es un auxiliar. Entonces no cambia. Así como era have and has en el, en el presente perfecto, Así como es did en el simple past, así como es do and does en el, en el presente simple, así en el simple future tenemos con going to, que going to es el auxiliar, por lo tanto no cambia. Going to va así, exactamente igual, siempre lo van a poner así. Then you're going to use the verb, the verb in the pace form, el tiempo va en su forma base. Aquí no lo hacemos en pasado ni en pasado participio, sino que en su forma base, comer, tomar, caminar, nadar, yeah, eat, drink, jump, swim, walk, um, uh, drive, a comp, all of this. And the complement, of course. In negative, you're going to use the subject, the verb to be again, 
and the negative with the verb to be. El negativo va con el verbo to be, okay? I am not, you are not, she is not, okay? I'm not, aren't, and isn't. Esos son los negativos. Going to, porque es el auxiliar, verb in the base form and complement. And as we said, the question is going to be exactly the same as positive that just just to change um, the subject with the verb to be. Like uh, the verb to be is going to be first and then the subject, okay? Para las preguntas, el verbo to be va primero y luego el sujeto y luego lo demás exactamente igual. So I can say, for example, in positive, okay? For example, in positive, I can say, I am going to, wait, going to, Go to the cinema. I am going to go to the cinema. Look at this. I is the subject. Um is the verb to be corresponding of the subject. That is I. Going to as an auxiliary. Go the verb in the infinitive or the in the base form, whatever you want to say it. And to the cinema, that is the complement. Okay. I can say um Corina. Corina is going to um, play soccer tomorrow. Corina is going to play soccer tomorrow, okay? Corina is the subject. Is is the verb to be. Going to the auxiliary. Play the verb in the base form. And soccer tomorrow is like the complement, okay? In negative. Nazario, for example, Nazario is not going to study for the exam, okay? Nazario is not going to study for the exam. Nazario no va a estudiar para el examen, okay? Nazario is not. Nazario, the subject, is the verb to be, not the negative, going to the auxiliary, study the verb, and for the exam is the complement. And if we want to do questions, I can say, um are we are we going to drive um to the beach vamos a uh, vamos a manejar a la playa are we going to drive to the beach vamos a manejar a la playa nosotros vamos a hacerlo Vamos a manejar a la playa. Look at this. Are, that is the auxiliary. Sorry, that is the, the, the going to the, is the verb to be. The verb to be first, then the subject, then the auxiliary, the verb, and the complement. Okay? It's simple like that. Es así de simple. Do you have any questions for the simple future? You can ask to me. Si tienen preguntas, me avisan. No, it's, a clear feature. it's okay. Okay, perfect. I know it's a simple, it's a simple, um, a simple tense. Yo sé que es un tense bastante, bastante sencillo, de hecho. So, the exercise today is, vamos a hacer entonces el ejercicio práctico. Tell me five examples using the tense. Okay. Cinco ejemplos utilizando el tense. Proyectense en lo que harían um, en el futuro y que sea algo seguro, of course, porque estamos hablando de going to. Y vamos a hacer cinco ejemplos cada uno. Y ya saben que les pongo en las breakup rooms para que sea más fácil compartirlo. Ok, so go guys. Get into the breakup rooms, please.
Okay, I think we're getting back. Okay, the breakup rooms are closed right now. And I would like to know who wants to um share the exercise. ¿Quién quiere compartir el ejercicio, guys? Uh, me, sure. Rodrigo, okay, go. Okay, uh, the first is, I'm going to go to my work tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to read a book. Are you going to go at the supermarket? I'm not going to play soccer uh, the next Saturday. And you are going to watch TV the next Thursday. Okay. Amazing. Everything was so good. Thank you so much, Rodrigo, for sharing us your examples. Pretty good. Okay. Another one who wants to share the exercise? Volunteers, Luisana, okay, go. I am going to work tomorrow. She is going to travel to Mexico. Are we going not to go to the beach? Okay, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you so much, Luisana. You did it so great. I think this is a very easy um dance. Um, I I really like it because it's difficult, and you can use the bear in the base form. That's amazing. So um, I I think everything is clear right now. Um, I need to ask to you if you have any questions about the class. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre lo que vimos en clase, el dance. El vocabulario, something. No, no teacher, no teacher is clear. I think so. Okay, I think everything is good. Solamente les recuerdo entonces que esta es la semana número 4 y que ya deberían haber empezado la sección número 5 y el final exam está al final de la sección. So, um, please, 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 no se les olvide hacer la parte de la, de la plataforma. Eh, si tienen alguna pregunta, mejor pónganla en el grupo de WhatsApp, en dado caso que yo no esté pendiente de los mensajes que ya me ha pasado. Y me dicen, teacher, you're ignoring me. Y, y, y realmente es porque estoy a veces haciendo otras cosas. Y um, en el chat de WhatsApp es más probable que alguien eh, inglés corporativo lo pueda leer más rápido. So um you can send your questions to the chat and nothing I just need to remember that you need to finish the the complete um the complete sections for Friday okay tienen hasta el viernes para completar el eh, todo el Toda la sección que nos hace falta, que ya solamente es la número 5, y si algunos lo han adelantado, pues mejor. Y el final exam. So if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you. Bye. See you, miss. See you. Bye. Have a nice night. See you, teacher. Take care. Take care. Nice night. Nice.